Come on in. Good morning and welcome to Trans West Truck Trailer RV. And thank you so much for tuning in on this sunny Monday morning. My name is Katie O'Neill. I'm coming to you live on Facebook and YouTube from Frederick, Colorado, here at Trans West Truck Trailer RV, where we do three videos a day, one on a trailer, one on a truck, and one on an RV. Um, as usual, I like to start my videos from the inside out. So Jody, if you wouldn't mind, go ahead and take her on back. And as you might have noticed on your way in today, we are doing a side-by-side -side comparison video. And the reason for this video is because so many people ask about how to get more horsepower on a short RV. And this is the answer. This is a 2023 Mountaineer. Uh, this coach boasts 500 horsepower and it also boasts 1,695 foot-pounds of torque. Um, now this is a 4118, which means this coach is 41 feet, 10 inches long, versus the 4081 Dutch Star, which is 40 feet, 10 inches long. So first of all, what do you get for that extra foot of space? Uh, one of the things that you're gonna get is over here is in this cabinetry. So you'll note that you have an extra full length closet in the rear here. In the Dutch Star, we've got a half length. And that safe is optional on either one. You're also going to get extra cabinetry here. So for those of you who might be full time, that's a lot of extra space to keep things like those kitchen towels and face cloths, those, all those little things that you need in your RV that you never have a place for. And then again, take a look at this for linens. This is so much extra space for those bigger sheets, towels, things along those lines. And even down here below, you could have a hamper. So I really, really like that feature of this coach. Um, now, on both of these RVs, you're going to have power MCD shades with both day and night. The control systems are a little bit different. Um, instead of having to have a remote in the mountain air, you can actually control them from your phone um, or on touch pads throughout the coach. So uh, you'll note here, we still have our fantastic Splendid washer and dryer. This is going to be on both of the RVs that we look at today. We also have uh, fans in uh, both our mid and rear bath. And we also have uh, to differentiate not just vanity lights, but in the mountain air, you'll have the in mirror lighting, which I think is a really nice feature if you'd like to be able to do your makeup. In both of the RVs, you're going to have a very generous carpet lined medicine cabinet with two 110 outlets. In the mountain air, you'll have this full tile backsplash with a smaller square tile and also a linear drain. So you can see the sink is a little bit uh, more fancy, if you will. Great cabinet space down below and huge uh, drawers. So one really deep and one more shallow, but really big drawers uh, in this rear bath. And then here on the side, you'll notice that this is where we'll have a little bit of a difference. Instead of having KIB switches that we can control with our phone, you actually are gonna get into uh, your higher um, your higher level of panel systems where you can control your shades by for instance by just pushing a button so that's kind of a nice feature instead of having to go find the remote somewhere else in the coach one of the benefits of the mountain air is that you're going to have kib panels with your silver leaf system that you can actually just touch in each location so that is kind of a handy feature uh, now you'll have uh, the towel bars on both You'll also note that we have the Aqua View shower saving system on both coaches. Um, you also will have a little more shelf area, if you will, in the corner of this, uh, this mountain air shower, as well as a full tile finish as opposed to Corian mixed with full tile. And you'll have a water, or I'm sorry, a shampoo, conditioner, and body wash dispenser. We can have the optional teak bench and assist handle on either of these coaches. Those features are not, um, are not relegated to each other. Now you'll also note that up here we have this really beautiful uh, cathedral ceiling, and this is gonna be on both coaches, and then just to the right of the cathedral ceiling door, you'll see we have our towel hook, our robe hook, and then a full length mirror. Um, so this is a really, really nice way to get out into the world uh, with a little more passing power going up those steep mountain passes. So this coach at 1,695 foot-pounds of torque 
versus the 1,250 I'm sorry, the 1,250 foot pounds of torque that you'll find in the Dutch Star is really that differentiating factor, and as well as a little extra storage room because of the extra foot. Now, in the bedroom here, you'll note both coaches have more floor. Um, if you, for instance, loved the tile flooring in this Mountain Air, you could have this installed uh, on a Dutch Star. So you're not relegated uh, to tile finishes. Um, I can also help you if there's, you know, a particular uh, type of, uh, you know, furniture that you're looking for and you like to have a color that's maybe a little more specialized. We can do a lot of special options where we borrow from other coaches and interchange those features. Um, so when you focus on the differences in this coach today, you're really going to want to focus on the floor plan and then the capacities. Uh, now, in terms of this bedroom, we have the two wardrobes as well as these drawers. You know, these are all going to be, oh, that's going to be your television cabinet. These are all going to be full extension, soft closed drawers uh, on both of the RVs. And you have five drawers in the Mountain Air, and this one does come past this wardrobe so that you can have access to your cabinet or to your drawer at the same time. And then today what I did is I actually turned on only the accent lights in both of the bedrooms. There's just a really soft glow that you can see here that comes out behind these accent bars. And one of the things that I really love about the Mountain Air is the way that this decorative ceiling has the underlighting behind the panels. So that soft cut, that soft touch ceiling is going to be um, really, really kind of a neat geometric pattern that you have. And that's just with the accent lights going on. So nice light, nice soft lighting um, on those, you know, and when you wake up in the morning you have to turn the overhead lights on so bright. Um, I always like to point out the storage on either side. Now you'll note we have the overcut here so that you can plug in your 110 outlets or your USB ports and then bring them up onto your nightstands. Run the cords over the top right here. Plenty of room for some water bottles underneath and then lots of underbed storage as well. Um, now one of the things that is going to be a little bit different in uh, this coach versus the other is how you deploy this outside shade. So let me go ahead and pull these, these nightshades up. Again, this is so handy because I have this panel right here where all I have got to do is go to shades and go ahead and hit bedroom night shades. All my shades will come up and you'll see here in both of the RVs, we've got the, the carefree awning package. These are power awnings. In the Dutch Star, the control panel is hidden up here on the Mountain Air. It's nice, it's actually right here so you can just retract that. Um, and so I had somebody who said they weren't sure if they would like to have these. But to be honest with you, if you had a Mountain Air or a Dutch Star and you still wanted to be able to see out of your windows, you don't have to deploy them in total. You can still get that sun protection and have the visibility out of that window, which is a really, really nice feature in these coaches. Now you'll note that in this coach we have a smaller panel um, that has a little bit more of a look like that of what you'd find in a London Air, an Essex, or a King Air. This is going to be the silver leaf system. It's going to be a little bit different than the interface that you have with your uh, with your Dutch Star. So this is going to be using the My Rosie app, and this has got some really cool things like for your oh, let's see floor heat, for instance. Everything is listed here. But one of the things I really like is when I'm at my home display, I can see everything running, and I can also take a look at all of my lights in each room. Um, there's my all lights on, right? I can do all of my shades. I can do all of these things from these little panels which are located throughout the coach as well as on this panel or on my phone where I do have a centralized location on the Dutch Star. So a little more interface um, or a little easier interface with this system. Now one of the changes between a Dutch Star and a Mountain Air in the 41 versus uh, 4081 is going to be the width of your pantry cabinets. So. You'll see here, these are just about nine and three quarters inches on the interior across, and we will measure the Dutch Star cabinets as well. Uh, in 2023, we've gone to this multi-cabinet system where you can actually put pots and pans down here, as well as baking sheets, frying pans, really good storage, really good idea by Numar. Um, the similarity between the two, we'll have the Whirlpool uh, three door, refrigerator with a water filter and ice dispenser also that meat and cheese tray just a really nice refrigerator i have this refrigerator on my superstar as well it's just a great fridge 
plenty of storage, and then lots and lots of really deep storage. This refrigerator um, is bigger than a lot of people's refrigerators at home. So nice residential refrigerator. Um, now in the mid bath here, again, another nice feature is going to be having this KIB panel to be able to control all of your um, shades. So you can still get in here and put in that night, that day shade, for instance, or the night shade. Again, that back, backlit mirror as well. Nice undermount sink as opposed to a vessel sink. And then plenty of storage space. Um, and if you find yourself wishing to see more about this 4081, please do note um, that we did do a full length video that's just over an hour long on this coach about two weeks ago. So I'll give you the stock number when we're in between the two coaches and you're more than welcome to pull that up and walk, walk it and look at it in total. Uh, this is really just to help you with a comparison to show you what you get and what's different on the 4081 versus the 4118. Another difference is gonna be, we'll just measure this now, 14 and a half inches in terms of overall width on this, uh, on this extension. Now, one of the differences that existed uh, before 2024, so in 2023, was that in 2023, you could only get the lithium ion battery system in the mountain air. You could not get the extra, um, the extra Xantrex inverter, which is what allows you to run your air conditioner going down the road without having your generator on or it also allows you to run your air conditioner without being plugged into 50 amp. That system in 2024 is completely available. Um, so it had, we had lithium in 2023 for a Dutch star. We just didn't have that extra inverter. Um, that's going to be available with the inverter in 2024 for the Dutch star as well. So not something that would be a comparison that would make a difference. Um, if you're in the market for uh, lithium ion batteries, you know, please understand there's a lot of places where they're important and there's a lot of people who just don't need them and it's a pretty costly expense and when I say costly I mean tens of thousands of dollars more um, so before you decide that that's the thing you must have give me a call and let me know what your thoughts are and I'll walk you through whether or not it's something where it's worth spending the money and of course I won't make the decision for you but I can help give you the pros and cons so that you can make that decision for yourself um, so in both of these units we'll have the Fisher Pakel dishwasher also known as the glorifying drying rack with a rinse feature. So if your kids miss something, you can go ahead and get it off anyway. Really nice silverware drawer on both of these coaches. And then we are gonna measure the counter space. So again, whenever we get an extra 12 inches of space, we always wonder, you know, where do you feel that? And this is gonna be 83 inches uh, long. And then the, the shallowest point of counter depth is gonna be about 32 inches deep. So very deep counter space. Big cabinet space as well. I love this cabinet here. I can see me putting all sorts of little things like salt and pepper shakers and any of like the things that I'm gonna put on my table regularly, maybe a cream and sugar dispenser, all of those little things, balsamic. Um, and then lots of storage up top, fully extension, fully extendable uh, slide out. And then let's take a look at the difference of the sink. So in the Dutch Star, you're going to have a farm style sink. And in the Mountain Air, you're going to have chrome faucets and a stainless steel single basin undermount sink. So some people really like a, a single basin sink. If that's the case, uh, this is a nice way to get a nice, uh, a nice oval shaped sink as opposed to the farm style front sink. Um, I actually have both in my kitchen at home um, and one's for vegetables and one is for um, doing dishes, and I think that they both have their place in the world. I don't think you have room for two kitchen sinks in your mountain air, though. Um, this is a neat feature, too. Um, you'll see that we have the slide outs in both of these coaches. This just makes it so much easier to get back to your cleaning supplies. Um, just speaking from experience, um, my Superstar is Ventana level, and it's, it is glorious. I love my Superstar but that is a hard to get to cabinet love this little drawer here another great uh, tall space for a bottle of belvedere vodka that really big one for your party and then i don't know what you put here but i'm sure it's good probably where george or where morgan keeps all of her shot glasses for her jello shots in the freezer uh, both coaches will have central vac and by the way folks i have to tell you if it wasn't for these shoes i don't know if i could have matched both of these RVs in my outfit today it was thanks to Vans. We were able to pull it off. This was a doozy. 
Um, okay, so this table is optional and you'll see it's kind of fun to be able to show you um, a dinette versus a booth. Uh, so this is a great aspect of the comparison. And the reason I have it set up like this is because I wanted to show you how much space you have. I mean, this is really big space, right? And I'm going to go ahead, as you'll note earlier, I left that, um, left that uh, mattress up so I could put the chairs back underneath. Um, but it's just a really great amount of entertaining space. And, you know, none of us have booths at home. We all have tables and chairs because it's easier to get out and not have to have the other person get up and move out of the booth. Um, my daughter, inevitably, every time we sit at the booth, has to get up and go to the bathroom. She's 15. So as soon as we all get set, we all have our food, we've got our water, we're starting to eat. She goes, oh, Mom, do you mind if I get up and go to the bathroom? And, of course, everyone has to move out. That's why tables and chairs, I think, are nice. Um, the other benefit of a table and chair setup, uh, which we'll see here, is not just space uh, on the table itself. It's also not just that beautiful buffet that you have along the window there where you can keep your cream and sugar, your salt and pepper, all of those things out. But it's also going to be in the benefit of having more storage space underneath the buffet as well. So there's uh, two of these cabinets in this coach. And then there's also another one here. And you could certainly keep, I, I like Pimpernel placemats for when we're camping. They're cork placemat, they're hard. They're good for outside and inside. And you could keep those really easily underneath there. And then the cool thing about this table, this is uh, Troy Schultz, who is our Numar rep. This is one of his favorite tables. Uh, the cool thing about this table is that it affords you really good walking space. And when I say really good walking space, that is because what you can do is pull this all the way in and use it like a counter as opposed to having it as a full length table. And this is a really nice feature of this coach, especially if you've got a great view out of that window. Um, so lots and lots of options with this convertible table. Very, very cool feature of the Mountain Air. And as I mentioned, uh, don't get hung up in these options because we can change out booths, we can give you dinettes. We have a whole bunch of options you can choose when you're building your coach. Uh, this is, again, more just to get the, um, the look of the cabinets, for instance, so you can see the layout of the cabinets. Also, the styling of the cabinets is gonna be quite different. The wall sconces, also, also the lambrequins, which is what we call the piece of furniture that covers up the shades. The operation of the shades, all of these things are quite different between the two coaches. And as I mentioned here again, one of the nice features as opposed to having your remote, you can just push your button and pull up all of your shades. Now, one of the nice features of the Mountain Air, in my opinion, is the amount of window space in this coach. So you've got an opening window here, you've got a full length window above your couch, a full length window above your dinette, you've got a full length window behind your TV and you also have a full length window above your kitchen. So really, really nice, uh, really, really nice window space in this coach. So for those of you who like it to be a little more open, this is a great option. Uh, this is going to be a jackknife. If you want to see this deployed, go ahead and tune into our previous video. We've got outlets on either side. Um, we've got our 50 inch uh, 4K smart TV, our Bose soundbar as well and then all the overhead storage. is very similar, I think, between the two. You can take a look and give your opinion. Again, this is really more of a comparison video just to get you through what do I get between the two. And we're gonna go from one interior to the next uh, so that we can talk about that because um, for somebody who's in the market for a coach, it's really nice to be able to just figure out what is the difference between the two coaches and, and what might I gain or lose. Now we keep talking about lose. What does lose look like? What lose looks like is the availability to get into some parks. So you can take the stickers off of the door and fake it till you make it. Um, but I'll tell you just in uh, these last few recent weeks, making reservations um, in San Alejo, I was able to get into a 40 foot spot, even though my coach is 40 feet, 10 inches long. 
if I had said it was 41 feet, it didn't show any availability at that campground. So 40 foot is kind of a magic number. If you're in that way where you might be going to state parks like San Alejo State Park in, in California, you know, where they do have that restriction, we do have a 38 foot mountain air coming out in 2024. Uh, take a look at my dealer video. If you type in 2024 mountain air, you'll find I've done a few videos. Uh, Brian Moritz, our sales manager here, also did a video on that. I did a comparison of this coach versus the 38 foot coach mountain air as well. Uh, so that's out there for you if you're looking for that shorter coach and again that 1695 foot pounds of torque um, so there's a lot of options in the market it's just really good to be informed of what they are now one thing that isn't different between the two coaches are these really nice dual 10 inch monitors this is a great screen um, you can have a Freightliner or a Spartan chassis on either. This is built on the Spartan chassis. The coach that we're going to look at next is built on the Freightliner chassis. So uh, you could get the optional Spartan chassis on the Dutch Star if that was something that was important to you. One thing that I think everyone should get because I just find I use it so much, I really like this overhead camera system. Uh, this makes a big difference for us when we're out parking. Uh, it's a really, really nice feature. And then here uh, on this seat here, you can see we have the monitor, which you cannot get in the Dutch Star. The oh shit, I lost the Jeep monitor is only available on the Mountain Air up. So you can get that on a London Air, on an Essex, on a King Air, on a Mountain Air, but it is not available on a Dutch Star. And for those of you that are towing heavy objects, it is kind of nice to be able to have that availability. Um, in terms of the cabin, this coach has, of course, the 43 inch smart TV. You should not drive down the road with your televator up. It's not good for the, for the, for the televator, I guess. Uh, we've got wireless charging docks here and then also over here in this coach. Both of these coaches will be running on a uh, HWH hydraulic leveling system. And both of these coaches have a hydraulic slide uh, on the driver's side is a full wall side that allows it to have what we call more floor. So if you look back along the floor of this coach towards the refrigerator, you'll note that there's no uh, carpet. It's all tile. So this is a really nice feature. And I'm going to go ahead and pull this slide in right now so that you can. Oh, I just bumped Jody's arm. Poor Jody. Jody's so mad at me today, you guys. He's not going to say it, but honestly, he's really the clumped. Jody doesn't like it hot. And it's going to be really hot today and we're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison outside in the sun and I know he's not looking forward to that. He's giggling. He's really not though. He's being very polite about it. Uh, these comparison videos are a lot for our staff. Um, they're not easy but I think that they're really important um, because as a consumer when I was shopping for my first RV I like to watch Matt. Matt, if you're watching me, I used to watch you all the time. Um, he was funny. He did a lot of, you know, informative stuff. And when I sent him an email and asked him to do a video on the coach I was looking at, he didn't do it. And I was so sad. Um, but if you send me a request uh, for a video, as long as I have access to the product, I would be happy to do the video for you because I really feel like, um, these videos really help you to kind of get your feet wet before you go into the dealership so that when you walk in you can have kind of a, an agenda about what you want to test drive and what you want to look at um, so that's going to go to a very important point uh, when you're ready to get an rv the first thing i want to tell you is you've got to drive these coaches uh, so jay if you're watching i told jay uh, he came in uh, he came in last week and uh, i told him that I would be making a comparison video, but what he wanted to do was test drive uh, the Dutch Star versus the Mountain Air versus the London Air. And you know what, it was important to do that. When you're doing your research, the way these things feel under your foot really makes a difference. And another thing that really makes a difference is when you take a look at this video, keep in mind, take a look at this more traditional cabinetry. And then we're gonna go into the Dutch Star, which has got all new cabinetry for 2023. That might be more, more to your liking, and you might be pleasantly surprised with the power when you get in, this, in and, and test drive too, so it might save you a lot of money. So really important, um, the least expensive way to own an RV is to buy the right one the first time. And I would love to be of assistance and help you with that. Totally patient, really informative. I won't sell you anything, but I will certainly help you to understand the difference between the options, and I'm well equipped to do so. Uh, so as I mentioned earlier, 
an incredible walking space. So for those of you that have a big dog, nice place for your puppy to lay here uh, while you're going down the road. Um, big, you know, high to bed couch, a really lovely finish on the interior. Overall, just a really, really nice execution of RV uh, by, look at that little hat storage. Uh, <laughs> by by Numar. So these are the awning controls, the manual awning controls. We were actually able to get the awnings to stay out for a few minutes today. Um, I'm sure you saw those when you uh, when Jody was walking in. We will just pan over to them really quickly in case they blow in before we get back to the exterior. Uh, but you'll see here I've got the exterior carefree awning package deployed right here as well as the door awning and then our two big overhead awnings as well. Uh, this is going to be available on both of these coaches. The other thing that you should note that if you look here on the exterior of this slide, uh, it is color matched to the RV. Both of these coaches are color matched. So starting in Dutch Star Up, so if you look over here for instance at this Country Star, uh, it's got a silver exterior wall on the part that slides out. Uh, from Dutch Star on up you're going to have a color matched slide so you get that same look going all the way down the coach whether your slides are in or out okay so these slides will be in the next time we come out so we're gonna go ahead and start from the inside here um, on our way in I don't know if you can hear but that but that's our doorbell so we've got a nice doorbell uh, you'll notice the steps are a little different it's a um, separate step as opposed to the box the box is theoretically a little more rigid. Um, and then on our way in, have an opportunity to take a look at the difference in the cabinetry. So this is gonna be a little more of a suave, I call it the Star Trek finish. Um, they really did a nice job upgrading this. The ceiling feature, of course, is very different than the tufted ceiling. But we'll go ahead and start from the back again. And do note as we walk through this bedroom, again, I have the accent lighting set in this coach. And to be honest with you, as much as I like the mountain air, I love this accent lighting. I think it's so pretty. It's much more uh, sub subtle. Um, so quite a difference in execution of the bathroom. So here in the mountain air, we had our, to we had our washer and dryer stack. Here we have a little bit of a counter extension. And one of the things I really like about this Dutch Star floor plan are these little pocket uh, dispensers here to keep your cotton balls and your Q-tips. If you're doing your makeup here, this is a great space. And there's also a really nice little cabinet where the toilet paper dispenser is to keep your TP, so you get extra TP holder um, and any of your feminine supplies. Uh, so super cool. Uh, we have, Again, really deep storage here, maybe not quite as much as you have in that extra cabinetry that you gain with that one foot in the mountain air. Um, now, our medicine cabinet, again, no in mirror lighting, uh, and it's not quite as deep, but it is vast. So for those of you who have a lot of stuff, this is certainly gonna be able to suit you throughout your trip. You should have plenty of room to keep everything as you go down the road. Um, and again, really nice vanity mirror up here, or vanity light up here as well. And then we talked about the shorter length of your cabinet. It's a little longer, and it's not quite as deep the whole way through. Still have that optional safe. And then one thing that you do gain in this floor plan are these additional drawers. So you have, in the mountain there, we had the two drawers, right? Here we have a cabinet, two drawers, and then an additional three smaller pocket drawers, which for me would be more useful. So this is, in my opinion, a better floor plan because you have more drawer space. So I could have, uh, for instance, a whole side to myself. I get three drawers. Jason gets three drawers. Um, you know, or we could share like the kids, Stella and CJ could each have one, Jason and I could have two, however we would like to do it. Now here, if we can come around here, Jody, and just show, here's the rope hook, of course, very important to have. Um, but these are your KIB switches, so we don't have that same control 
of the um, of all of the shades throughout the coach of all of the, the same things. Now we can control most everything with our phone, but if you forgot your phone in the in the bedroom, you can't do as much as you could just through one of these panels. All of that being said though, it's not really hard. I mean, you just push the lights, it, you could turn on the water pump, you know, there's buttons instead of having that nice KIB switch. And then again, uh, you've got the two towel bars on the outside of the unit, you all, or the door, you also have your teak bench, no shampoo, conditioner and body wash dis, uh, dis distribution, but there is a little bar on the top shelf there that will hold those things in place while you're going down the road. And there's a little shelf to keep your razor and your soap down at the bottom. And this coach also does have the AquaView shower system. And then both of these coaches do have the emergency egress door. And where this is super nice is if you come back from a long trip and you wanna take your laundry and drop it out the door, you can just drop it right out the door there. Or if you need to escape a fire, you've got a deployable ladder that will actually allow you to escape peril if there's a bad situation happening inside your RV. Hopefully we never have to hear a story about how that happened. Uh, I'm not doing a very good job putting that back up there. There we go. Okay, so, um, and then here, like I said, so instead of having that little touch pad, you have to do push and hold but it's right next to the potty, so it's really not the end of the world. Um, just a different execution of uh, controls here inside of the inside of the uh, Dutch Star as opposed to the Mountain Air. Now, still great feature. In my RV, my Splendid washer and dryer is only accessible when the slides are out. In both of these coaches, you'll find it's here in the bathroom, so you can access it while you're going down the road. Uh, we'll do, you know, how it turned out. We did up to like two loads of laundry when all four of us were camping uh, last week in Breckenridge just because we had so much bike gear. Um, so that was kind of interesting. Now here in this uh, bedroom, I really wanted to show off. Oh shoot, Jody, I didn't do it. Here, go back in there. I have to show it. Both of these coaches have heated floors, by the way. And then both of them have a full length mirror. Um, at the Ventana level, you don't get that full length mirror. I really love that full length mirror. That's a super nice feature. It also makes the door feel like really weighty and expensive. Um, but no, so sorry, get back to what I was saying. I really like the lighting in this bedroom. So when I wake up in the morning and we're camping and it's like, I don't know, a sleep in day because we stayed up playing Cards of Humanity until like one o'clock in the morning. It's nice to have Jason bring me a cup of coffee and I can have this nice soft lighting even though it's bright as day outside. Um, so I really love the elegance that you have in this new Dutch Star cabinetry. And then here underneath, you'll see we have these two 11 inch uh, wide table leaf extensions and these two chairs. So for those of you who are interested in having more seating accommodations in the coach, we're gonna have just as much here. It's just you're in a booth with chairs. Now you'll note we still have plenty of room for a CPAP machine on either side. And then we still have the same access where we have the cutout as well as the 110 outlets and the USB ports next to the bed underneath the nightstands. So a lot of these features are very similar. Now you will note, and I'm gonna go ahead and have Jody show you the ceiling feature that changed this year. Um, that is updated from last year, a little different look, um, but also very different than what you saw in that mountain air. Now here you'll see, again, we have our telematics uh, cabinet in the same place, same five drawer setting, full extension, soft closed drawers with access to that top wardrobe, dual wardrobe in this coach on either side of the TV, 43 inch smart TV. Um, but one of the things I think is so funny, oh, so here we go. If I wanna put my shades up, I have to have this. So this is definitely um, a little less convenient all night up. Um, oh, I better go all day up too. So here's my remote. So I put my shade up, but we still do have that carefree uh, awning cover keeping the sun out of the bedroom, just allowing us to be a little bit cooler during the day. But the retract button is hidden up here underneath. So. If you ever walk into a Dutch star and you can't figure out how, how, how to put the shades down, there's where the magic button is. Uh, still have a 43 inch 
us 4K smart TV in this coach. And again, uh, more floor throughout the entire full wall slide. So this of course is all tile. You'll note that the tile on this floor is actually the tile out of a mountain, uh, out of a new air. So this is the new air tile floor. Um, so Meredith and Andrew, when they went to uh, the Newmar show, found some tiles that they really liked and we put it in a lot of our 2023 models. Okay, so ready? This is the same width, 14, 14 and a half inches um, on, this, uh, on this island. So same width, that's kind of an interesting feature. And then counter depth, let's take a look and see how we do here. Go all the way down. If you're watching Mike, thanks for my handy dandy. I think we're about three inches shy. We're 80 inches to the inside of this uh, counter, but very similar counter depth in this 4081. And then at your, I should do the most, the most shallow point, 32 inch counter depth. So uh, this is a pretty similar kitchen size between the two. As I mentioned earlier, for those of you who like a single basin, this is a dual basin. I love the way that it's done though. Um, so this dual basin sink has a vegetable side size and then it has the full dish size. So you've got a prep sink and then you've also got a washing sink where you could put something that's maybe like a larger pot. Um, as you can see here, uh, in reverse, but still that same full extension uh, for underneath to get it to your goods. And then I'll just show you what one of these covers looks like. You've got the uh, sink cover storage underneath in both coaches. And this would just look like this if it was slid into place. Um, this does not pop out so that you lose that cute little drawer. Um, this is really good space here. So nice cabinet storage space uh, in the kitchen, a little bit different than that of the mountain air, as you can see, um, but still a lot of those really nice features. So a lot of the niceties I think that people are worried about losing. Oh, I didn't open this in the mountain air, shame on me. Um, I do like this little guy, it's in both. And then, cabinet space. So not quite as much cabinet space in this coach, but same uh, Fisher Pekel dishwa dishwasher and then these nice full extension drawers as well. Now, both of these coaches are all electric. Uh, both of these coaches have central vac. Both of these coaches have uh, the same Oasis. Um, so dual loop Chinook Oasis uh, tankless hot water heater, which is providing you not only hot water, but also your hydronic heat. And all of both of these coaches have, uh, this is an optional in-floor heating, three zone heating. So you've got heated floors in both the Mountain Air and the Dutch Star, MCD power shades, a little bit different execution of how you use it. Um, and then in-floor heating. So a lot of the features, if you're interested in uh, these two coaches are going to be duplicated. Uh, so like I said, it's really important not to get hung up um, on the coach until you test drive it because if you don't need the higher horsepower or the bigger torque the Dutch Star is the number one selling coach in North America for a very good reason and for the 40 foot floor plan this is the magic number uh, these are eight and about a quarter uh, wide so a little bit more uh, narrow than we have in the Dutch Star and then here in this coach we do not have the bake set underneath. I think that that will come in 2024. I like the bake set where you can put your pots and pans in there. I think that would be very useful. Uh, you do have the same refrigerator. And then in terms of the dinette, so booth versus um, tables and chairs. So one of the benefits, this is a smaller little stationary uh, portion to put your salt and pepper on, but probably plenty of room to keep a you know flower bouquet and some salt and pepper on the table. These are really comfortable. I love the way this Euro booth is set up with this nice cushion in the back. This makes for a great lounging area. Having a glass of Prosecco, eating some cheese and crackers, hanging out with your girlfriends. This is a nice comfy, nice is a nice comfy booth. So for those of you who like a booth, this could do it. Um, and even big people when they sit here don't touch knees. Um, I know that that's a big, um, it's a constant uh, comment. Now, for those of us that are uh, a little healthier, this might be constricting. I think it's got plenty of room. I'm pretty healthy and I fit plenty well, but you know, just worth the mention. That is a benefit of table and chairs. If you are a little healthier and you wanna sit in a chair at the end though, that 22 inches of extension makes for a really nice, 
big dining area. One of the benefits to this setup is that you could probably fit six people here instead of four. So for those of you who are entertaining and having a few more people over, the booth might be a better setup. Now we've lost some of the storage that we had under the buffet, but we do gain some underneath in these, uh, these booths. Underneath we have a nice little place here. You could keep some placemats, napkins, and then maybe your plates and bowls on the other side. That's where I keep our dishes while we're going down the road. And then of course I keep them in the dishwasher until we leave and then I put them back underneath. So nice feature there. Um, now the Fisher Pakel dishwasher is in both of the units. And then as I mentioned here, the Bose soundbar isn't quite as robust or long, but still a nice Bose soundbar, good storage overhead. Uh, you've got a power outlet over here on this side with 110s and uh, USB ports, not on both sides. And then here you have water bottle storage for while you're going down the road and then more outlets as well. So like I said, the Dutch Star and the, and the Mountain Air are both very nice vehicles. Uh, this is as opposed to the couch, the theater seat setup. You can do this in either one. Um, I just ordered this coach with these windows um, in a couch. So another thing you can do is if you say, oh, I like these big square windows that they have in the theater seats, but I want the recliners. Or I like these big windows in the theater seats, but I want the couch. I can modify a lot of aspects of these coaches to really suit you. Um, and I've got some uh, full timers, uh, Debbie and Russ, if you're out there, hi, I'm really excited. Their coach is being built, it'll be here soon. Um, but we were able to go through and really specialize and get exactly what they wanted because they've been in their coach for the last 10 years and they love it. Uh, so we were even able to get a vessel sink in the rear bath from the London Air. So lots of nice modifications that we can make to make this coach perfect for your family. Um, and we have a lot of nice RVs coming in or in stock right now as well. Now one of the things that's nice about this theater seat setup is there's so much blanket storage in here. So that's a really great feature. And then on top of it, you can still keep your remotes separate. So I keep my remotes um, in my uh, RV in my Ottomans. I have a couch with a full size extension bed. It's a queen. Uh, this is a full bed that folds out. It's a, tri a trifold. Um, but when you get the theater seats, it comes in combination with a trifold. So you still have sleeping accommodations for guests. Um, and then I'll go ahead and TV lift up, it's a button now instead of being a KIB switch. So you just have a little button to push. Um, but like I said, very different, very similar. I don't know what will hit for you or what's important. Um, but hopefully as we go through these, I'm helping you to understand and, uh, and you know, grasp some of the concepts. Now important features on both. I can't tell you, I, I have become more and more uh, enamored with this removable stove top. So this is on both coaches. Uh, this true induction cooktop so i'm just going to show you right here it has the little flame and then here it has the temperature so the little flame is one through five how hot do you want it to be the temperature though you can set it like 330 360 390 um, it goes up it up in increments of 30 degrees eggs cook perfectly at 330 on this cooktop at any altitude and i mean we just take ours outside we plug it into one of the outdoor bays. We set up our, our little, you know, collapsible Costco picnic table. And we make all of our French toast, our bacon outside. We've got our mimosas rolling. And then while it's out, we can put the covers back in. And Stella could be in here prepping all the strawberries. You've got the cutting boards on the underside of uh, the stove covers. So you can still use this space and have your stove outside. But the end result of this is, this is a fantastic cooking apparatus and you can have it outside so you can take the same pots and pans because you're not using an open flame on your really high-end nice pots and pans you can get i like the indiana uh, based company all clad has a copper core that's fantastic they're expensive though you know three pans is a lot of money and i don't want to put them over open flame so i've found this to be exceedingly useful um, on our trips okay did we cover this overhead storage here jody probably not I'll just get two of these right now and then get through the rest. And then um, please do note that uh, the wall sconces, once again, are a little bit different on these coaches. Um, so between the Mountain Air and the Dutch Star, you may have a preference. And if you're torn and you like one better than the other, my number one recommendation is to come in and see us. 
come in and walk these coaches. Learn about the differences, feel them for yourself, touch them, sit in them. Almost all of the time when I have clients that come in, um, I sell about 70% of my RVs out of the state of Colorado. So a lot of my clients, I've got one going to Georgia this week. Um, I've got another one that's going to go off to Utah. I've got another one going to Idaho. I've got some people that are registered in Florida, but they wait, live, wait, their address is a technically in Florida, but they registered to South Dakota coming in next week. So I've got clients that come in from all over the place. And the first thing we do is just go walk through stuff and test drive and feel uh, which one we like the best. Because I really do think that that's where you get uh, the best information on what's going to be best for you. So again, uh, these big monitors up front, as you can see, they're a little more fancy looking without the trim on the exterior in the mountain air, but they're still accomplishing the same thing with that 360 overhead camera. Your nav and go uh, system is also the same. Our HWH hydraulic leveling jacks are also the same, but you'll note that here there's a blank spot um, on, this, on the um, Spartan chassis. They are still using, uh, both will have the same Allison transmission, but this is not the touch pad. This is gonna be the stock control. And I don't know if you can see this here, but your engine brake is off, low, medium, and high, and it's on the stock. Um, if I could tell you that I love anything a lot, I really love the stock control for the uh, transmission just in having, I have the other one, um, I would love to see this. And in fact, in the 2024 Superstar, they have stock control. So honey, maybe we need a new RV. Okay, so very similar uh, bay up and top. Um, and then we're gonna go ahead and pull slides in. And then Jody will show you that HWH hydraulic leveling system bringing up our full wall side as well and then we'll head outside and so please keep in mind today's video will not be heavily at length on the exterior um, features of the water bay etc i will show them to you though for comparative for, for comparative reasons and then we have two videos uh, one done by steve uh, shapiro our new associate that came to us from um, from the Palm Desert out in California and also one by our uh, industry uh, professional Russ Grant Russell uh, he also did a video on this coach uh, so we've got two videos full-length videos on this Dutch star as well as uh, on the Mountaineer so both of those available I'll just show you the walking space while I go back here and bring in uh, that bedroom slide and then we'll get to the outside of these coaches. Uh, if you ever have any questions or comments, uh, please be kind. These are live videos. Everything that we're doing, of course, we have to study for and know up front before we come into the units. It makes us better salespeople, um, but we are really trying to be a benefit to you, the consumer. Um, and it's not easy. It's hard work. It's hard work for our camera crew. It's hard work for our staff. And we're really doing our very best to help to be informative, but put questions down below in the comment section. Reach out to me, shoot me an email, call me. I talk to people all the time. I made two appointments um, for people who live out of town to come in yesterday on Sunday. I don't mind answering my phone and running through a few questions. I love, I love the opportunity to be of service to anyone who's looking uh, for information. So don't be afraid to reach out. That's why we make these videos. And we make them so that you'll call us. You know, if I'm not your flavor, we've got a lot of great sales associates here. Did we show the mid bath? We didn't show the mid bath, Jody. Okay, so hey, check this out. Great access to the mid bath while you're going down the road, even with the slides closed. <laughs> the reason I know we didn't show it is because it's got this fantastic vessel sink. So here's that vessel sink we talked about while we were next door. And again, really nice roomy bathroom. Nice drawer space, plenty of cabinet space. Um, again, you don't have that in mirror lighting, but you have a great vanity, um, overhead fans in both of them. Uh, <laughs> and then just a little different execution for your shades in your mid bath, but still opening windows. You still have the rain sensing fantastic fans. Um, but yeah, so hey, we caught that one. That's great. Wouldn't that have been funny if we did a comparison video and we didn't show the bathroom? Oh boy. Again, these are both bath and a half models, 41 feet, 10 inches versus 40 feet, 10 inches. And again, 500 versus 450 foot pound, or 500, 500 versus 450 horsepower and 1,695 foot pounds of torque. 
on the Mountain Air versus your 1,250 foot-pounds of torque on the Dutch Star. Now, this Dutch Star is going to have a 100 gallon fuel capacity as opposed to 150. Uh, it's also going to have an eight kilowatt generator as opposed to the Mountain Air, which is going to have a 10, kilo, 10 kilowatt generator. Um, the other difference, I'm sorry, this has got a 12.5, so 12.5 kilowatt generator. We get a 10 kilowatt generator in a Dutch Star if it's 43 feet or longer. We also get 150 gallons of fuel if it's 43 feet or longer. Um, so if you're okay with that longer coach, keep in mind, you can get a bigger generator and more fuel capacity and an extra air conditioner on a 43 foot Dutch Star. And there's a lot of floor plans at 43 feet. Uh, the Mountain Air will have three ACs even at the 41 foot length. So that's a nice feature there for those of you who are going to hotter or more humid environments. Um, you'll also note here there's no, oh shit, we lost the camera or lost the Jeep camera. That is omitted, but we still do have the wireless charging docks. And of course, this little screen opens up so that while you're going down the road, you can see out the window. There we go. Um, okay, so on that note, let's go ahead and start on the outside. And just, just gonna run through these really quickly so you can see the differences. Um, I really, really love this Lindley exterior. So these are the Lindley graphics. I think I'm gonna hit this. Now that we're gonna cook anyway, Jody, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this generator off. So stop. Uh, you can turn the generator on in a whole bunch of different places on these coaches, inside, outside. Um, so they're all pretty convenient. Both of these coaches will have dual fuel fuel tanks. Um, here you've got your Dometic on a slide, three cubic foot Dometic. You can actually program this to be a refrigerator or a freezer on either coach. As you see, this is a full extension. It comes out past the slide, so you can still gain access when your slide is deployed. One's deeper, one's more shallow. Lots and lots of under storage, uh, basement storage here on this. Uh, these are all 1,000 pound rated slide trays. They come out to 60%, once again, giving you access to be able to get into your center bay without having to put your slide in. Both will have the optional exterior 43 inch TV with the sound bar. Um, they also have 110 outlets in both, as well as USB ports. Again, both of these coaches have the ability to have uh, central vac, so you've got your central vac here as well. And then again, your optional tray on this coach. Right in front of one of your water tanks here, you've got a nice little garage to keep all of your top shelf booze and all of your mixers. Blender plugs in right conveniently next door, or you can use it for tire shine, which I think is very drab. Um, okay, so this is a big deal. In both of these coaches, we have a tag axle. In 2024, the Mountain Air will come out with a 38 foot tag axle. It's the first time we've done it. It really makes a big difference. In 2024, the 40-foot Dutch Star will come out with three ACs. I mean, all sorts of new features and reasons for you to trade in and buy a new RV today. <laughs> no, just give me a call. Let me know what your questions are. We can talk through things. Um, this is, of course, our DEF tank, and this is a dual fill. We have access to DEF on both sides. That's convenient when you're on the road. This is your chassis power system um, shut off, so you can turn your chassis batteries off here, house at the door. And both of these coaches have all uh, locking door mechanisms that you can operate with that uh, handheld wand on either side of the door. So really nice to be able to lock and unlock your doors before you hit the road. Um, here in the back, as you can see, we have our air, our uh, brake sink is already pre-wired. So both of these coaches are really easy to get up and running for your Jeep. Not a lot of extra stuff to install. You don't need to install an airline or a ping tank. Uh, both Spartan and Freightliner will provision that for you in advance. If you tell me that you've watched my video, I had a guy come in this weekend, he bought a Supreme Air from me and he goes, and you owe me a bottle of Oasis juice. Let me know, man, it's 25 bucks. I'll give you a bottle if you remember to tell me during our transaction uh, because you need that stuff. This Oasis fluid here uh, on either one of these RVs is not gonna get delivered to you in the middle of the forest by Amazons. And you'll definitely wish that you had it if you don't have hot water. 
Um, all, on that note, um, the one thing that's really nice about this Oasis system is that you can get the water so hot that it's actually too hot, which is pretty amazing. You just cover that up. There's your seven pin connector as well. Um, so again, 450 horsepower, really nice rear end, overhead camera, backup camera, side radiator, um, depth on both sides. Also, you've got the same thing where you've got the ability to store uh, your gravity hose here as well as some gloves. And then SantaCon in the water bay, as well as a paper towel dispenser, full house water filter, um, and power uh, city water hose as well. So really nice water base with hot and cold shower. You both will have a 50 foot power cord on a power reel. Uh, it's nice that it's up here on the Ventanas and on my Superstar. It's down here. It's just a little easier to have access to it up on the door. Uh, both of these have the optional surge protector in them as well. Uh, we actually had a lightning surge the other day and it was really cool because uh, we had surge protectors. We had no coach damage and we had a power, it shut the power off in the building, but the RVs were fine because they had surge protectors. Uh, again, dual, dual loop Oasis Chinook system. This is going to give you great hot water. And then slide access on both sides to that mid uh, basement slide. Those are your inner vac uh, vacuum hoses. Uh, with having that more floor, you probably will not need uh, anything but a broom on the inside. And then again, big difference here, eight AGM batteries um, versus a very expensive Lithionics system. Uh, this coach, you would have to run your generator going down the road, whereas with the other coach, you would be able to run uh, your air conditioner off of your lithium ion battery bank without having to run your, your, run your generator. Uh, here's the second half of that fueling system. So dual fill again. All the brains are always up here. The release here for the... Oh, I don't know if I can get it. I'm so bad at those. Okay, come on, Katie. Don't be lazy. Pull the button. Did I get it? I think I got it. It's just so hard to pull. I did, I got it. Uh, so again, this is gonna be an eight kilowatt generator. On a 43 foot, it could be a 10 kilowatt generator versus you can hear it running behind us, the 12. I don't know, can I open this without? Yeah, no, I have to have the coach running to open this. Is it sliding out, Jody? No, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and open this up for us real quick and we'll start here. Um, now, while I'm doing this, um, the, way, the reason I have to do this is because the coach has to be on for me to go ahead and run that, uh, run that generator compartment out. I'm gonna turn it off and I am gonna turn the coach on. Now keep in mind, both of these RVs have, um, both of these RVs do have um, ignition systems. <laughs> that's, kind of, that's kind of a silly statement. No, but one of them, uh, the Mountain Air has a keyless, uh, keyless system. So you use a push button start instead of having to put your key in the ignition. So mention that too. Keyless ignition versus a turnkey. That would be good for me because that's how I know I have my purse. <laughs> if my car starts, I have my purse. If my car doesn't start, I don't have my purse. Okay, here we go. There's the big dog. You have a question. Oh, we have a question. Go ahead. Will the fridge run on just the battery on both coaches? Yes. Okay, so we, the question is, will the refrigerator run with just the battery on both, on both coaches? And the answer is unequivocally yes. Um, so both of these coaches are either equipped with solar or pre-wired for solar. Um, I would encourage you to have solar. If you have solar panels and you stop and go on an eight hour hike, when you come home, your refrigerator will still be on because your batteries will be charging. But with eight batteries or with a Lithionic system, either one of those would give you enough battery power to run your refrigerator uh, for the whole day. Um, so 100%, the benefit of having the solar system is that when you go to bed at night, your batteries are also charged, so you don't have to worry about being plugged in. So for boondocking, 
having solar allows you to keep your refrigerator running without having to run your generator. Um, so when we go to San Alejo Beach for Christmas, um, we're going to stay in Mission Beach first, spend New Year's there, and then we're going to go to San Alejo up the coast after that. And in Mission Beach, I only have 30 amp. It doesn't get that hot on the coast of San Diego, especially in December. And then uh, when we go to San Alejo, we're going to boondock the entire time. I don't even have 50 amp plug-ins. So um, as somebody who's been out there camping quite a bit, um, I'm a big fan of having solar. I think it really makes things a lot easier. Uh, the water capacities on this coach is 105 gallons of fresh water, 60 gallons of gray water, and 40 gallons of uh, sewage uh, uh, tied into your Aquaview uh, shower system make these very good boondocking coaches, but adding solar would be a great idea, but either one of these would be able to run your refrigerator without having everything melt just after the battery banks without having to go to the Lithionics system. The benefit for Lithionics is quite different. Um, one of them is going to be the uh, distribution of power. It's also going to be the charging time and then the capacity. Uh, so if you add the third battery to the Lithionic system, instead of having 800 amp hours of storage, you're going to have 960 amp hours of storage. So, you know, there's, there's a lot of pluses and a lot of minuses to it, but it's certainly worth um, having a conversation and talking about what your aims are for camping so that you make that right decision without spending too much money. Uh, so again, 12.5 kilowatt generator. Also, you'll note down here, this is where you access your windshield washer fluid. And then you can see those big air horns back here as well. Another difference between these coaches though, is you'll note, so where are your windshield washers? Um, so your windshield washers are gonna be stored up here behind the nose of this vehicle versus in the Dutch Star where they are exposed. And of course, the benefit of that is going to be that you're going to have uh, less degradation of that uh, windshield wiper uh, over the months. You know, you're not gonna be exposed uh, to as much sun, uh, not as much drying and cracking of that component. So a little bit lower replacement uh, or a little bit higher amount of time in between replacement. Jody, where's my clipboard? Oh man. Okay. So back to stairs. So here we talked about the difference between the stairs. So again, that aluminum box stair instead, a little more sturdy. Both are going to have the doorbell and the key bar that can allow you to open and close your doors. Um, as well. Are you looking for my, he's looking for my, my clipboard. He knows I really want my clipboard. I do, Jody. I really want it. It's okay. I lost it. I think it's on the back of the Dutch star. I do. It's okay. We'll get back there. Don't you worry. Uh, so dual fill tanks on both of these, 150 gallon here on the mountain air, same Dometic, same slide all the way out past, uh, the slides. In 2023, we made it easier to close our doors. If you've watched our videos in the past, you know that that's true. Um, this slide tray is just a little bit wider than that of the Dutch Star. So 41 feet, again, a little more room. The TV is in front of the water base, so you don't have a place to keep all of your booze. You're going to probably have to put it here on your slide out tray. But you could keep a lot of Patron on this slide out tray. I mean, a thousand pounds of Patron is a lot of, a lot of tequila. Uh, and there's a little plug right there for your blender. Central vac is right here as well. And then this does come up. And then this does come out and pivot. One of the things about having the TV in this compartment area down below as opposed to the wall, this is actually at your lawn chair height. So I think that this is a better height for a television. Tag axles, again, just the same. You're going to have... Um, dual fill for your uh, def fluid again your uh, chassis and house batteries this is a little different compartment as you can see spartan changes up they put your air dryer separator um, all of these things are a little easier to access if you want to do your own filter changing and then again same really nice robust rear end uh, the beautiful marriage of now this is going to be the ISX, uh, this is an 11.9 liter ISX, is not to be confused with the 14.9 liter ISX, AKA ISX 12 liter, ISX 15 liter is how they're commonly referred to. This ISX is 500 horsepower and it is 1,695 foot pounds of torque as opposed to that 1950 or 1850 that you can get out of the ISX 15 liter uh, air truck here to be able to air up all of your tires. Your Oasis fluid is down here, but you still need it. 
And then as you can see here, not just having a seven pin connector in your airline, but you also are pre-wired for your Voyager camera system, giving you the availability to see your stacker behind you. Um, both of these coaches are going to have a 15,000 pound towing capacity, side radiators, def in the rear, storage spot for your gloves or your gravity filter, SantaCon system. For some reason, you got to have a paper sensor in the Dutch Star, but not in the Mountaineer. The funny thing is, is I know I can get that. So how about this? If you buy this Mountaineer for me, I'll do a paper towel and a bottle of Oasis juice. How's that? Um, again, 50 foot power cord, convenient location. And then again, that Oasis system. So your dual loop Chinook system right here. And then your other side of your slide, as I mentioned earlier, just a little bit wider here. I wish I had my measuring tape. Jody's so happy I don't. He's smiling. Carefree awnings deployed. So you can see that. And then here's that big difference maker. Here's that lithionics package. So that lithionics package is going to be what gives you the availability of running your air conditioner while going down the road. So that second, uh, that those first two batteries can have a third battery installed with them. Uh, so in other words, that is going to be two 320 amp hour batteries and your uh, your next level of battery. Uh, so to get to 960, you have to buy a third lithionics battery to get to that 960 amp hours of power. And you get a standard 800 amp hours of power. Jody, it's just gone. My clipboard is gone. I'm so sad. Um, but uh, note here, power, uh, power uh, window on the uh, Mountain Air as well as on the Dutch Star, just a little different execution. This of course is a bonded window that comes out and you can see that window kind of pops out in and out, give you a little less air noise on this window. Both of these coaches we're gonna have this fabulous Michelin tire. This is a 36570R22.5. Uh, this is an Alcoa rim, giving you that nice quiet going down the road. Both of these coaches are going to have the mobile eye. Both in 2023 will vibrate your seat if you uh, start to go out of the lines. Both of these coaches are equipped with the on-guard collision mitigation system, which will not only allow you to accelerate and brake um, without having your foot on the, on the gas pedal or the brakes, um, but will also help to initiate a stop if you're going to run into something. It can't keep you from running into stuff, but it can help you brake harder and faster. Um, again, this is a 4118 Mountaineer. This is the 4081 Dutch Star. Uh, this is stock number 5N221547. Again, 5N221547. And then over here, our Mountaineer stock number is 5N221602. Again, 5N. 221602. As you can see, both of these coaches have nice chrome convex mirrors. Uh, you'll note though that your side camera when you are changing lanes is integrated into the mirror of the Mountaineer, where it's over here on the side of the Dutch Star. It's an exterior mount, so a little bit different execution there. Both of these headlights have been upgraded in 2023 to have an auto dimming feature. Uh, for brights and they also both have the silver star lighting system which is giving us a better brighter light better night illumination uh, so that you can see um, and uh, not just see better but also see further with these headlights and that was something that was asked for uh, by all of our clients and jody guess what found my clipboard my name is katie o'neill i'm coming to you live from frederick colorado at trans west truck trailer rv um, it's been a pleasure spending some time with you today. If you've got questions, feel free to email me or call me. My number is 303-562-8659. Again, 303-562-8659. I have one of these things. I use it all the time. I'd love to help you get on the road and get you using yours. Let me know how I can help. And thanks for tuning in.